I just want to make a quick video just to help out the people that, you know, they're not to say that they they just haven't been around vehicles a lot, you know. This is for those. Um, just if you're curious on how your battery and alternator are doing, uh, doing, can't speak English. What you want to do is you want to go get a multimeter, something like this. Um, this is what I have laying around. Uh, you can get really cheap ones. Uh, you can use them for anything too. So, what I'm do is turn it to 20. Like this. Be like that. Then you're going to take the, the black end, stick it in here. Take the red end, stick it in there. And as you can see, it says 12.5. This tells you that your battery is very good. Uh, obviously, if yours is lower than that, you'll want to check and make sure your alternator is working. And how to do that, you leave those cables exactly where they are. You get in your truck, come over here. Crank her up. How about it's cold outside? And you crank it, you go back to your meter, <coughs> and you see how it says 14.9? That means your alternator also works very greatly. Another way it says, um, let's say you rev it up. See how it jumped as I revved it? Your alternator works. So, just for those people that are curious, if um, you think your battery is shot or your alternator doesn't work, most people have a cheap multimeter laying around somewhere, you know, just turn it, turn it to 20 DC. Like I said, put the black wire on the black one and the red on the red one. And... If it says, you know, anything like 10 volts or less, leave it plugged in, crank your truck or whatever you drive. And if the number does not go near 14, um, your alternator is shot and your battery is soon going to die and will probably leave you stranded somewhere. But, uh,. Uh, it's just a quick video um, I actually the reason why I'm making this is usually because I get called out to you know people will call me out and they're stuck on the side of the road and it's a question I get a lot whenever I'm working on somebody else's vehicle and it's, in general I'm surprised at how many people don't have any ideas on on this so I just thought I'd simply offer it and then again You know, I don't have a ton of subscribers or, you know, viewers or whatnot, but hopefully if, if it helps one person out, you know, yay, it'll save you a, you know, a, I mean, you can go to AutoZone and they'll hook up the tester and all that crap. And, but if your stuff's fine and you just wasted a trip. But yeah, I just thought I'd make this quick video for those of you that do not know how to tell if your battery is good and your alternator is working.